Okay, me and Peter are back at a house that I did a maintenance on, and we're cleaning out all of this mildew and dirt. Got the blower wheel and motor taken apart. Peter's gonna go outside and clean this, and I'm gonna try to work on the evaporator coil. Okay, so here is our evaporator coil that I'm gonna be cleaning. And I have the new Calgon no rinse evap foam, but I am going to be rinsing it off with the um, coil, uh, coil jet power washing gun. And I did just get an iPhone, so my videos are going to look a lot different, uh, hopefully better and not worse, but I'll spray this on and show you what it looks like. Okay, so I sprayed a lot of cleaner on there. I let it sit and I just sprayed some more. Uh, I'm gonna give it a little bit of a brush off and I got my coil jet up here. I'm gonna rinse it off. Um, I am gonna have to go through the dirty side to the clean side, which stinks, but I can't pull the whole coil out and take it downstairs and really clean it. So this is what I have to do. Um, Hopefully it comes out clean. It's really bad now. And so is the whole housing. So I'm going to try to get the whole thing as clean as I possibly can. I rinsed it off as well as I'm going to get it. This is the other side, which I just sprayed a lot of cleaner on. I'm just going to let that sit there. And I put some drain treatment tablets in. I'll put them in the back too. But... I wasn't able to get this too clean. I got it a lot cleaner, but can't get it perfect. Hopefully as the evaporator coil sits in there and drips down, it gets a lot of that gunk. Um, I got most of the solids, especially in the back. It was like a sheet. I got that out and water flows through it nicely. But um, a lot of this is just kind of like stained. Peter's rinsing off the blower wheel. And the housing is nice and clean. Okay, I tried to clean this off as best as I could. Um, again, I couldn't get it all out. It's like embedded into the insulation, but it's a little bit cleaner. I'm hoping that at least it's just all killed, all of whatever's growing here, mold, mold mildew. And Peter's cleaning off that wheel. Actually, let me get this spot right here, but Peter's cleaning off that wheel. And we should be ready to put it back together. I wish I could clean this off, but I don't want to damage the electrical. So that's just going to be what it is. Okay, here's our blower wheel, which is a lot, a lot cleaner than our blower housing. The blower wheel was pretty black beforehand. And then we're gonna put it back together and get it put back inside. Okay, so we got the fan in, and I don't have a before and after, but you can hear just how much quieter it is. So, I'm gonna get the cover on and wrap it up. So last time I was here, I had 72 return, 62 supply, and we have 72 return now with a 59 degree supply air temperature. So there's actually a 3 degree difference from cleaning the coil and cleaning the blower motor, or the blower wheel, which I'm super happy about and the customer is also very happy about. Okay, so I'm at the house now that I was at a few days ago. They have four AC systems, three are right here. This is a carrier heat pump system. Um, I think it's a heat pump. Maybe it's not, but the thermostat's for a heat pump. However, the low side pressure was freezing and my condenser fan wasn't coming on. And I knew that this had something to do with the condenser fan, but I, uh, I was running it, pressure was building up, and this wasn't turning on, but it wasn't hitting that 300 PSI that it's set to. 
So I checked this unit to make sure the setting was right at 300 PSI, which it was. And I added refrigerant. But in the meantime, I had these two wires jumped out with Wagos so that the fan motor would run. And now that we have a charge in there, it waits till it gets to a little over 300. And then the fan will kick on. So now the system is working. I've never seen this control before, but got them running. Uh, I at first suspected the condenser fan motor, but it's fine. Uh, amped it out and it's amping really well. Capacitor's good. Uh, we're gonna put a sealant in this system because uh, that's what the customer wants to do. And we'll move on to checking out the rest of the units. So I'm up in their second floor aquarium room and we'll show you that. They have salt water and fresh water tanks. All the fish in them. This pond right here. It's pretty cool. Big one here. Okay, I'm at that same house with that carrier pressure switch, and this unit's just been dripping into the crawl space forever. Uh, I blew out the drain line and it's slowing down. It'll stop eventually now. Drain line was clogged, but if you look right over there, there's a 120 condensate pump that is no longer discharging, and that's also filling with water, so we're gonna go ahead and replace that. I replaced their disposable filters on both units. Um, yeah, this is pretty uh, pack jobby. You can see there's mold growing on that and mold growing on the ground, but it is what it is. This house uh, isn't really, I guess, kept up uh, mechanically, so we're just doing what we can to get everything running right and running well. Can't change everything. Finished up with everything there. Um, pretty substantial bill. Uh, eight pounds of 410A plus the sealant and the condensate pump. Um, In three quarters of a mile, two hours turn that left we onto Allen Road. Um, the homeowner is an older lady, and the family, I guess, doesn't uh, plan on her being there too long. So they just wanted everything worked for the time being. They don't want us to spend an outrageous amount of money, although they are going to have to replace the unit for their aquarium. It's an R22 unit. The uh, coil is completely disintegrating outside. Um, it's going off on high pressure. And it's just a really rough shape, so we're changing that one out. But everything else is up and running, and we'll see how long that five ton carrier with the pressure switch runs but that's going to be it for this video i have a couple of maintenances that i'm not going to record because that's no fun uh, if you like the video like it comment any criticisms or advice or feedback uh, or questions uh, like the video and subscribe